Politica, we have a treat for you today. I have one of the founders to chat with you. Dana Jennings, thank you for taking time with us today and being here to have a quick chat. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you for asking me. Um, looking forward to it. Perfect. So you are one of our founders. You and Naomi like got together, made this beautiful organization. So tell me a little bit about kind of how you're still connected. What are you doing right now with Politica and maybe why you all decided to do this? Okay. I think the why was because we had not the two of us had not been as politically involved as we had hoped we could be at that stage in our lives, which was our early 50s, late 40s for Naomi. And we wanted to find a path to do that, but that really wasn't our sphere of knowledge or influence. So we thought, how can we educate ourselves and all of our friends who have interests, but don't feel confident about what they know and whether or not they can make have a difference, difference, have influence on elected officials and the decisions that they make. So at that point, we had been working with the Obama campaign for about six months, and we had a list of 100 women that had come to uh, events at different people's homes where we would do the Dana and Naomi show to talk about Obama's agenda and how women could get involved to support him during that election cycle. And we sort of were like, okay, well, that's great. That was fun. Then the General Assembly came to town. And as we know, the horrendous, restrictive, uh, dehumanizing legislation began to pile up. So we looked at one another aghast and said, we've got to do something about this. And that really was when we started having groups of women together and Eventually that turned into Politico. Oh, that's so awesome. I love you guys so much. I have to tell you, Dana, <laughs> I am just so grateful that you all reached out and said, hey, Jess, we'd like you to be part of this leadership crew. So um, what do you think is the special sauce? What is it that makes Politica so special? I think it's the answer uh, to why any community is special. And that is that the, peop the people that are in it. I think the women that have been attracted to the mission who have helped uh, forge the path of this organization, fascinating, interesting, caring, compassionate, um, willing to say, raise their hands and say, I don't know the answer. Can you help me find it? That openness um, in the women who are part of this organization has been a gift. Um, also, they come from a range of industries, backgrounds, skill sets. Some had never done anything political, not even attend like a peace rally or a women's march or anything. Um, and others were, had been working in maybe party politics for a number of years. So I think it is the women in the organization, you know, we really feel like we leverage the power of independent women, of progressive women. And one of the underlying focuses that we have is how do we demystify um, North Carolina politics at the state level for all of us. So it's about pulling back the curtain and arming ourselves with whatever skills we need to have an impact, to make an impact. I completely agree. That is the, that is the one thing that just like starting to dip my toes in three years ago that I realized was that everyone is so connected and open and ready to help even if you don't know the answers so i love that yeah i completely agree so danny you've been doing this a bit you know as one of our founders so i'm going to ask you to what, what would be a call to action that you would have for members of the organization or subscribers to the newsletter to keep this organization going i think that what we need folks to remember, what we need politicists to remember is that, uh, but for them, we would not be able to achieve anything. And so that means their time and their money. So 
if they have an opportunity to volunteer, we would love to see them. In particular, the newsletter. I'm going to give that shout out to the newsletter, which is a pretty intensive, high density kind of uh, task. We have a terrific crew. We need some more people. Um, and, uh, you know, year after year, people say that the newsletter is one of the core products and services that we offer that they most value. And um, so we would love to have some people there to do any kind of tasks that they might be interested in doing for the newsletter. So that's one, that's, I guess, would be the second thing other than giving their time and their money. If we want and to get specific about a particular crew who might need some new volunteers. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you all who, have, who are watching this, if you wanna get connected, connections at politicanc.org, that will come to me and I will connect you where you need to go. But yes, our newsletter crew, I say it all the time, newsletter and the website are our bricks and mortar. So I love that you brought that up and we do need help. Dana, thank you so much for taking a few moments with me today and introducing yourself to the rest of the members. I can't wait to see you interview and to watch the interviews of so many of our members and learn more about them. So I'm glad that uh, you have started this project. I'm very excited. And thanks to Wida, who is our guru, technology guru extraordinaire, who's behind the scenes. Our so executive thank you, producer, Wida Watson. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Thank Great. you so much, Dana. Thank you. Bye now. Bye-bye.